This video will cover measuring scan success. The goal is to ensure all discovered assets have been scanned and to identify assets that do not have scan data associated with them. There are multiple ways to do this, and you should start with the simplest method, which utilizes the assets workbench. The Assets Workbench is a great place to start, as it lists all assets discovered by Tenable.io. These assets can be discovered through integrations with cloud providers, third-party products, Nessus scanners, and Nessus network monitors. Here you can see that there are 293 assets across the environment. The Assets Workbench lists the domain name, IP address, operating system, last seen timestamp, and the discovery source. For example, the assets in this list have been identified using the Amazon Web Services connector. Now that you have a list of assets, you need to determine which assets have been scanned for vulnerabilities. The easiest way to accomplish this is to use a filter. Click on Advanced in the top navigation bar. For the filter criteria, choose Has Plugin Results. Leave the operator as is equal to and leave the value as true. The results show that only 10 assets have been scanned by some method. The top half have been scanned by a Nessus scanner, as shown in the source column. In the bottom half are web applications, which have been scanned by the web application scanner. Clicking on an asset will provide more details about it, including the update history, vulnerabilities, and additional metadata. Conversely, to identify assets which have not been scanned for vulnerabilities, simply change the value in the search criteria to false. The result is a list of assets you need to scan for vulnerabilities as they present an unknown risk to your organization. It can also be helpful to tag these assets for easy identification. Simply select all of the assets in the list and click Add Tags. For the category, create a new one, such as Assessment Status. For the value, create a new one, such as Not Scanned. Now you are ready to begin conducting vulnerability assessments on these assets. The method for which you use to gather vulnerability data can vary based upon the location, device type, and nature of the asset. A combination of deployed Nessus scanners and Nessus agents may be required. 